Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Starkey Farmstead. Today, I have a very exciting and really unique thing I want to talk to you about. For you people that breed rabbits out there, most of us will tell you what, how long does gestation last? 31 days. 29 to 32 is, is kind of normal, but most of us would be like the majority of our rabbits, exactly 31 days. You guys see my little Californian right here. Well, guys, she went 39 days and she actually delivered seven living kits. Now, I'm going to show you my documentation and we're going to get a little deeper into this topic because never before, ever, at Starkey Farmstead and breeding rabbits for over two and a half years, have we ever had a rabbit that actually went past the 32 day mark? And uh, doe number nine right here, she did it. So let's talk about this topic. So this is Snowball. She's actually also considered doe number nine. Let me see, I'm not gonna reach in here, but do you see? Look at those beautiful babies, guys. Look at that. She had a total of seven. Not gonna dig around in there. They're only two days old. And I'll be very honest, she's more comfortable with the scent of my husband on her babies than she is me. All right, so for the ones of you new to rabbit talk about the vocabulary you need when you're discussing rabbits. All right, so female rabbits are does. Male rabbits are bucks. Their babies are called kits. And you can have a herd of rabbits. And the cool thing is when mom goes into labor, she is kindling, okay? So those are some words that you kind of pick up over time when you start talking to people about rabbit breeding and, and the different things. So if you guys have watched any of Stephen and I's videos here at Starkey Farmstead, you know that we keep a breeding board in our shop in the main office. We also keep a notebook. Let me tell you why. This is basically double records, right? It is, a lot of people are like, I don't have time for that. Make time. And this is why I'm gonna tell you that. If you look right here, it says doe nine. Look what day we bred her on. August 30th, 2022. We had that she was actually going to be due on September 29th, 2022, and that we bred her to buck one. All right, so this is so we don't mix up. When we tell you what doe, what buck, then that then I don't take their kits and breed them back to buck one. Okay, so it keeps my, my DNA like I want it, all right? Well, we also keep it on a notebook in the house. And it says here, doe nine, Buck one, three hits. Go back and watch our video on breeding rabbits. We actually show you what an actual correct hit looks like when the rabbits are breeding. Guys, if they don't hit and ball off look like they're having a little seizure for a second, it was a miss, okay? So buck one was three hits, three successful breedings, all right? That was on August 30th, 2022. It says put the box in. On September 26th, her delivery should be September 29th. We put the box in three days prior to the delivery, so they don't have a lot of time to mess with the box or poop in it, that kind of stuff. Now, it also says, my husband, husband put on here, seven kits all alive. But her delivery date, October 8th, 2022. Guys, October 1st, 2022 would have made 32 days. So October 8th of 2022, doe number nine went 39 days before she kindled. Okay guys, at the end of this video, I'm gonna put a little clip from another video that I recently made about two weeks ago showing the nest box in here and how big she was. So we knew she was pregnant. My husband documents how many times there was a successful hit. We knew she was a good breeder. We knew buck one was a good breeder. We knew she was pregnant. We watched her game weight, put her nest box in. The day came, it went. The next day came, it went. And that kept, kept happening. Well, on October 7th, 2022, Stephen took her to rebreed her, right? He's like, hey, 
no matter how big she is, she's probably not pregnant. It's like day 38. We had never even heard of a rabbit successfully delivering or kindling past 33 days, especially live babies. So he took her to the main rabbitry. He attempted to breed her. She would not lift her tail. And as you learn to breed rabbits, you will know what I mean by that statement. She tucked her hips, wouldn't breed. So on his way back over here, she got a little feisty and she like kicked him and started to jump out of his hands. Well, he reached out, he grabbed her and got her close to the ground where she leapt out and just kind of plopped on the ground. He picked her up and put her back in here. The very next day, we had babies. So he believes that it just kind of jarred everything around inside of her. I mean, it wasn't intentional, guys. Rabbits, we usually move ours in, in kennels back and forth because they get a little hyper. But it jarred her. So we don't know how long she may have been able to go before delivering these live babies. I'm very serious. Like I've done some research and I'm going to tell you the exact wording was a scant amount of rabbits managed to deliver live births at 39 days. The longest recorded that I could find that was provable of a gestation with live birth at the end of it was 42 days. She was almost a world record in my opinion. She's a great rabbit, great mother. And back to have another doe, I'll be putting a, a box in for her today. And her fur is a funny color. She's a little oily, which means she's not taking care of herself. And she's shaking a little. Now we have upped the natural feed for her. Things like comfrey, mustard greens, cucumber, bell pepper, basil. I don't like to use peppermint on breastfeeding rabbits because peppermint can dry up the milk. And women too. So be careful with that, ladies. If you're drinking a lot of, of peppermint uh, herbal stuff or taking that kind of stuff and you're breastfeeding, it can, it has been known to diminish the milk, help dry it up. So just, that's just a free tip for you guys out there. But I did go ahead and give her some peppermint because of its ability to help with things like parasites and infections. We don't know what's wrong with her. She was never what I would call a great breeder or in fact, we called her bad mom. That was her, her, her nickname, bad mom. So I'm not sure she'll even survive this or have the ability to nurse afterwards we will be dispatching her culling her at the end of this pregnancy i mean she's only two days off but if her kits make it this is the same rabbit the little black and white one up here if you guys ever saw our video where hammer saved the baby rabbit that had come out of the box out of the cage and literally went eight feet and my parents were here caring for my form while i was in tampa florida and the German Shepherd found the little one day old baby that had not been nursed and carried it to my father and laid it in his hand. I mean, it was this long and naked. And the German Shepherd found the rabbit, brought it to my dad. My dad put it into the box with the black and white rabbit, rubbed fur on it, the whole nine yards. That baby survived. She took that baby in and nursed it. She is a phenomenal mother, the Californian. So my game plan is I tend to breed bad mom with the Californian because I understand that we usually have a little trouble with bad mom but this time the trouble seems that it might be life-threatening so we will be culling her if she makes it through delivery whether the babies live or not and I will transfer those babies to bad mom I mean to the Californian from bad mom and see if she will adopt them again there are ways to save newborns you can do it just takes a little you know forethought and um perseverance on your part. So I hope you watch the rest of this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, share this video. I think it's amazing. I think other breeders need to know. Guys, you can have a rabbit go 39 days before she kindles and still pull seven live kits. So I'm super excited. Thanks for watching Starkey Formstead. Enjoy the rest of the video. Now, sexing rabbits can be a little difficult and it's very, very easy to mix up your rabbits when they're young and you're sexing them we have a funny story we purchased our first three rabbits they hit seven months we attempted to breed and lo and behold we had mixed one of the females up with the male and we literally were trying to breed two females together for months and months before we realized our mistake now of course when they hit about six months old for the males their testicles 
will drop and you know you've got a male. But before that, like say if they're six weeks old or 10 weeks old or 12 weeks old, it can be a little difficult. I'll let my husband do that video because I'm never good at flipping them upside down and securing their head under my arm and then showing the sex. But Steve and I'll definitely do a video for you guys on sexing rabbits.